Today, we're going to do a product review of the Kiwitz KETS02 Intelligent Electric Soldering Iron. And we'll see how this thing performs and uh, what my honest opinion is of it. It looks pretty neat, and we'll talk more about it. So yeah, uh, Kiwitz reached out to me. Uh, they were asking me if I'd be interested in this product and I told them, send me one and I'll be happy to do a review. So um, it's it's a somewhat of a paid promotional review because they did send me the product, but I told them that I would give them a fair and unbiased opinion because I use a soldering station. So I'll be curious to see how this little portable soldering iron works. It looks pretty neat on the outside of the box and let's uh, go over more of it in detail. Okay, so this is what comes in the box here. Uh, as we look on the back of it here, it comes in some different configurations because this is international. So the uh, one that we have, the power adapter, is the US Pro power adapter. Uh, but it also is, you know, it has a, um, it also has the UK power adapter and also a European power adapter. And this is the uh, model, it has six pieces, soldering iron tips, which is kind of neat. Has the 65 watt power supply and has an OLED display, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, so this is kind of what the front of it looks like. It's like a little handheld pin. Uh, this goes up quite a bit in temperature too. I'm very, very surprised. Uh, according to this, this will actually, uh, the temperature range will go to 180 to 780 Fahrenheit or 80 to 420 centigrade. And that's actually higher, uh, just, a, just a taste higher than what my bench unit does over here. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, so we're gonna unbox this thing and see what's inside, okay? So the first thing we need to do is get the wrapping off of it. And it comes nicely sealed in some cellophane. Uh, the box is very sturdy on it. Very nice box. Uh, the artwork's very good on it. Uh, it's not uh, what I call uh, a generic box, so to speak. And so this is it right here. And we're gonna open the box. And of course, we're greeted by a Kiwitz model here, the KET S O or zero two or S O two, however you want to call it there. Uh, but it's got basically just the uh, general instructions here. Let's take this out. Let's see what's in the box there. Oh, see, it's very nicely displayed in there. Uh, comes with the 65 watt power brick here. It's USB. And boy, this thing is very, very heavy. It's not a cheap uh, power supply. I think it's very, very heavy. So that's kind of encouraging. Here's the actual unit itself. And uh, it's, mm, seems to be made out of aluminum. Pretty nice. Uh, this is all metal here on the front here. Here's the uh, display and control panel here. And there's a little plastic uh, protecting it there so it doesn't get scratched up. There's the uh, USB uh, in where you charge it up. Let's see what else we have here. There is a... Uh, tip on it here. This uh, goes on it to uh, protect it, which is nice, so you don't get it to damage, so it protects the, the unit. And this actually comes with six soldering tips. Uh, and again, these feel, they have some good weight to them. Very, very tiny uh, chisel tip there. And uh, let's see what else we have in here. And we'll get down to the end of the box here. We'll, uh, let's see here, let's use the, the knife here to, to get in here. Let's tab stuck down in there really good, but there's some stuff down here in the box here. There we go, we'll pull it out, we'll move that off to the side. Let's see what else is in here. All right. Let's see. Uh, this, oh, it's got a little soldering stand. That's nice, very clever, very good. Um, Looks like, oh, it's a little sponge. All right, so that goes right in there. Very cool. All right, all right. Let's see what else we have here. 
So we have a uh, charge cord here. Boy, that's a very, very hefty cord. It's a silicone cord. Uh, feels got a really nice feel. It feels like an Apple uh, cord. Uh, it's got a nice leather band around it, so you can take it off there. I'm very impressed with the quality of everything. It's not cheap. Uh, here's the extra additional tips we have here. And we have different ones. We have the uh, different shapes of tip on it here. You can see right here. We have some chisel tips. We have some very pinpoint tips, some rounder tips. There's a big chisel in there and there's a very, very fine tip on that. And so, yeah, and it's pretty easy to, uh, as you look at this, this just, it's got two little holes in the end of it there. And that's what makes connection. But I'm very impressed with the, the weight of everything and the build quality. I was really not expecting this. So anyway, yeah, so let's uh, take this off here. And basically, uh, we're going to take this nice uh, strap off here. And this got little plastic protectors here. Very impressed. Very, very, like I said, very nice build quality. And so that just plugs into here very nicely. There's a little plastic on this too, protective covering. Uh, this goes on this here. It also has a, another type of, uh, looks like it has another type of charger on here, like a regular USB. But anyway, so we'll uh, plug this in here. And let's see, uh, I'm not gonna put the tip in it yet. Okay, so you can see right here, there's a little display that comes up and it's asking me to put a tip in it. So I guess I'll go ahead and put the tip in that it came with here. And let's see. I guess we have to take this off here to do that. Let's see. And you can see, let's put this down in here like so. Oh, okay, there we go. Fits in there like that. Let's see. Well, I guess it's way it goes down in there, all the way down there like that. So now we're going to uh, put this down on it here. Yep, and then we'll uh, see how it works here. Okay, so the uh, manual actually is uh, pretty easy to follow. Uh, you have different uh, modes you can do on this. You have the one key standby. You have temperature settings, uh, setting mode, screen brightness, temperature calibration. Uh, temperature units, uh, sleep time, uh, sleep temperature, and you also have a couple interesting things. You can actually uh, put a child lock mode on it, so if this is laying out, the kids can't uh, get access to it because you have the child lock mode enabled on it. Uh, you have a handheld mode, which if you're left-handed, you can switch it for the left hand or right-handed, which is kind of neat. And then you have the voltage gear. Now this one is the 65 watt 20 volt. And so that's what this is. So this gives you the most power out of this uh, iron. Uh, but it is, uh, I must admit, it's pretty, uh, it's got a nice, nice feel to it there. I really like it there. Uh, and you can see the uh, OLED uh, display there. Uh, you can adjust the brightness and it's pretty easy actually to, to get into this. So you just press both buttons down here and then you can get into different things so like that's the brightness uh, calibrate temperature unit sleep timer uh, child lock handheld mode voltage select which were already selected on the 20 volt and brightness and so yeah so uh, after a minute or so it'll go back to where it is but yeah, so we'll just uh, double hit that again there. We'll press that again. And let's see. So now we'll take and we will do the uh, temperature setting here. So let's do that. Okay, so let's go back to the temperature set here. Let's get it. Uh, temperature and we 
can do centigrade or Fahrenheit. We can toggle back and forth to it there. Let's do Fahrenheit. And then, uh, then we can take and uh, go to uh, the next step here. Oh, okay, so we uh, got it on, uh, we're heating it up here. I got this on Fahrenheit. And that little percentage counter on there, you can see it counting down there. And it's going down. So yeah, let's uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's 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 very warm. Yeah, so I can feel the heat on it there. So we're at uh, five seventy one seventy two uh, Fahrenheit there. See it there. That's pretty pretty steady. Let's. Uh, see what we can do here. Let's uh, tin it up here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's, it is hot. Look at that. Yeah, pretty good. That heats up pretty good there. Let's find something to solder with here. Yeah, I'll just get a capacitor here. Let's just kind of play here. Let's uh, see what we got here. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does. It does stick on it. Let's really crank the heat up on this thing. Let's really. Let's take and we will. Let's go all the way up here. There we go. All right. Let's crank it all the way up here. Let's see how hot how hot this thing gets. And you can see the percentage on it there. I'm trying to get it in focus here. There we go. You can see the little percentage there. And we're up to temp. So let's just see. Uh... Oh yeah, look at that boy. Nice and hot there, and we can really uh, flow that on really good now. Look at that, yeah, very good. Yeah, look at that, nice. That is hot, and it comes with a nice little nifty sponge. But uh, I don't want to mess it up. I want to. I'll just use my one from my other soldering station here. So very cool. That's pretty neat. Get all kinds of neat settings on this. But let's uh, let's go down to the lower temp here. Let's drop it back down here to. Uh, around four, around four twenty or so. Let's see. And you got this nice little uh, silicone grip mitt here, so you can grab it right there. It's nice and cool there. But yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty interesting. And it's nice. You can adjust the sleep time on this too, which is nice. You can make it as short as what you can do as much as 20 minutes, or you can go down and uh, make it less than that. Uh, we're going to put this on centigrade. Okay. Okay, so we've kind of put it through the paces here. Okay, the pros and cons on this Kaiwitz electronic soldering iron, the KET. S02. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, this is this is aluminum. Um, it is very, I'd say it's pretty ergonomical in your hand. Uh, I mean, I have a soldering station. This is bigger. So somebody with bigger hands might prefer this. Uh, I have bigger hands. But uh, this uh, little one here actually is, is not bad. Um, uh, the control panel is very nice on it. It's very clear. It's an OLED display. It's very intuitive. Um, you just have to kind of not lose your place when you're doing the settings, but this has got a lot of features on it. I mean, it's got child lock on it. It's got a sleep function on it. You can, you can adjust it for centigrade or Fahrenheit. You can adjust the sleep state on it. It's got a lot of stuff built into it. 
and you also can do the firmware updates too. There's a firmware update. You just plug this into your computer. You go to their site and you can update the software on this thing. So they're always updating and upgrading the software. Uh, as far as it heating up, uh, it it does really heat up uh, pretty quick. I After a while, this barrel does get a little warm, but it's not to where you can't hold on to it. It's just because it's heating it up. Uh, but, you know, it does get warm. It does have a nice feel to it, as I said. Now, the one thing that I noticed on these uh, tips is uh, these are for the uh, lead-free soldering. But uh, it seems to work fine for the leaded. That's probably the only ding I would do on it. That's probably the only criticism I would do is, you know, for us people that do soldering and stuff, we all prefer the lead solder rather than the lead-free but this seems to work okay for it. I had this, I've had this on for a couple hours and the tip looks pretty darn good on it. It hasn't really discolored hardly at all. And I had it on the highest setting. But yeah, it's a, it's a good little gadget. The only other thing I probably would recommend is maybe having a little longer cord. This cord is about three feet long, uh, which sounds long enough, but you would want your bench power supply up or outlet or power supply to plug into it up here because if it's down on the side like mine, I'm very limited with the cord space that I have. But that's just a little criticism I have. I think they could have made it maybe like four feet or, or even just a little bit longer, just, just to give you a little bit more flexibility. But the build quality is excellent on it. I will give them a, a five star on that. The build quality is excellent. And like I said, this is pretty easy to use. It's pretty quick to get going, and it's got a lot of features built into it, and I do like that. Now, for me, I like my bench power supply here that's built into this thing, and this has a rework station, and this has a soldering iron. Uh, in terms of performance, as far as centigrade, uh, they're both pretty darn close in that respect, only like about maybe 20 to centigrade difference on the high end. But uh, it does, this little iron does heat up in a hurry. Works quite nicely. If I was new to soldering, I would probably go with this versus a bigger unit. But if you're doing some type of repairs or doing a lot of projects, um, like I said, this would probably do okay. But it does have some limitations. Like I said, if you have really big hands, you might not feel comfortable with it. Uh, it's got a good feel to it. I must say that uh, on this one, uh, when I'm soldering, um, I don't have, it does get warm, uh, but it's still, uh, you know, I can still handle it okay. Uh, and, and again, this one does get very warm, but not to the point where you can't hold on to it. It's just, uh, you know, the heat going through it there. But it, uh, it works really good. I'm very, uh, very pleased with this. So when you're done with it, you can put the cap right back on it there. Like it, there's little lines there. It tells you where it, where it goes there, right there. There's a little line there. And it'll say kiwi's on there. And that way it's all ready to go. But it's, uh, you know, you do get the little sponge on it with it here, the little soldering holder, so you don't burn things with it. You get the power supply. Uh, you get a nice, easy manual to, to read it and to figure out all the settings on it. And you get the six extra tips with it, which is nice. And like I said, these are for lead-free, but they seem to work okay for the leaded solder. So on a scale to one to five, I would put this at about a 4.5. And only reason why is because I think the cord could be just a little bit longer for me. Um, I can handle it okay. Um, I do like all the extra features that they build into it, especially you can switch it to left-hand mode, which is fantastic. It does come with a nice manual, but if you're doing a lot of soldering work, uh, then you might want to invest in a bigger unit like this, and that's a budget unit as well. I like this one. Um, it's not the top of the line, but it's, uh, it's, it does the job. So there you go. So there you have it. This has been my review of the Kiwitz model KETS02 Intelligent Electric Soldering Iron. 
and it does have a lot of fancy features to it. It's pretty cool. It definitely gets hot real quick. You can monitor it. You got all kinds of nifty little cool settings you can do with it. And it's really nice that you have that child lock guard on it too. So if your kid goes fiddling with it, they can't activate it if they plug it in. Pretty cool. So anyway, um, on a scale of one to five, I would rate this about a four or four and a half. And the only reason why I'm really knocking it is because the cable that goes to it, I wish it was a little longer. Uh, it's got a great feel, it's great construction. But the other thing too is I think they could have made it a little bit smaller in diameter. I just think it's a little too bulky looking. I think if they did it like half the diameter, that would have been the perfect match for it. But other than that, the build quality is excellent on it. It's a great little product. So uh, yeah, pick one up. And uh, like I said, I will play with this a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so I hope you liked the review. Please like and subscribe. Until then, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.